Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you in Adobe Muse uh, basically how to get started. Uh, I've done a few videos already on Muse, but not really a getting started video. And I'm just going to go through the tools, uh, the real basics. I'm not even going to really build a site in this at all. Uh, just so you know how um, it's actually a really simple program. Uh, just like Adobe uh, Illustrator and a lot of other Adobe programs, the same tools that are on on the side of your, you know, on your sidebar with the with the tools is on the same is on the top also. So you're gonna see a lot of consistency throughout the programs, and in this program in particular, there's just not many tools, uh, which is really cool because it's not a confusing program. It's uh, pretty cut and dry, but it does offer you a lot of different ways to enhance it. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's open up Adobe Muse. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to File and we're going to start a new site. And it gives us the options of, you know, like a page width, a minimum height. Um, I pretty much leave the defaults. Um, aside from the page width, I like to be like a thousand pixels wide. And um, the margins, you want padding in your page. You can change all these things later, which is great. But uh, right now, we're just going to stick with what they got. Um, and we're going to hit OK. And the first screen that comes up is, I did talk about this in another video, it's called Site Structure. But if we come up to the top right here, there's four areas. There's the Plan area, the Design area, the Preview, and the Publish. Okay. Right now we're in the Plan area. And in the Plan area is where you can add a page, like so. You know, so if you have this a home page, we can call this About Us. And then we can add another one, and we can call that Contact Us. Then we can add... Maybe one more and add call a photo gallery. All right. You can also add pages going down, which are going to be submenus or child pages of these parent pages. And down here you have a master page. You can have as many masters as you want. It just it keeps certain elements consistent within your your pages. So you'd you'd probably want to use uh, that for like your background and your navigation, or you know maybe pages with a sidebar or with a full width or not. So that's the plan section. Um, if you wanted to go into a page and actually change things within the page, you would double click on the page itself or the master. But we're going to click on the page, double click. And now we're at our drawing board. Now the one thing about Muse that is driving me nuts that I hope that they figure out in the next one, unless maybe I just haven't figured it out yet. But my canvas, I just can't move out of the top left corner. So I would love to center it on my screen just like an Illustrator where you can move it around anywhere you like. But in this case, you kind of it's it's stuck in the top left of the screen for whatever reason, but you know, um, maybe I'll write them a letter, see if they can change that for the next time. Anyway, uh, this is this is your canvas right now. And uh, hold on one second. All right, cool. So we have our header area. Which is basically we could we could take these these little arrows and they're going to expand uh, certain elements. Some of them I cannot expand, like your footer area, um, which I'll talk about in another video. Uh, you should be able to do that um, within your actual master page. I'm going to jump to my master, and you'll be able to actually mess with your footer area. But let's go back to that home page, and these are your header areas, and these are your footer areas. And as you design in your web page, it will expand. So, for instance, if I come up here and I take a rectangle tool and I go like that, you're going to see the website's automatically going to expand, which is pretty cool. So, not going to get carried away with that. That's for another tutorial. But up here are your basic tools. Uh, if we roll over them, they're going to say what they are. You have a selection tool, which is V, which is V very important because if you were an Illustrator buff, you know, or maybe I believe in Photoshop too, that that the main selection arrow is the letter V. So a lot of the tools are going to have the same exact shortcuts, keyword shortcuts, as the other programs. So if you're used to the other stuff, this program is it's just going to feel so natural to you. You're not going to feel like you're learning a new program. You're just going to feel like you know you're using just a different you know a, a different plugin for you know Illustrator. But it really is. It really is pretty cool. So um, the next tool is the crop tool, the text tool, the zoom, the hand tool, and the rectangle tool. Those are the basic tools. Um, and out of those tools is how you really build a site. 
Uh, if you wanted to zoom in on your canvas, you could obviously do this. Um, I mean, I guess as I do this, it, it centers more on the page, but you kind of want to work at 100% all the time. Um, in here, you can it's going to show you where certain things can be turned on or off. Uh, your rulers can be turned on or off or there. Or just like in an Illustrator or other programs, you can do Command-R and your rulers will pop up or turn off. Um, your guides will come on and off with command colon or semicolon, just like any other programs. It's really, really nifty. And um, on the next line, you're going to see certain things. You're going to see a fill, and you're going to see a stroke area. And this area is, is a new area you haven't seen in other programs. It's a rounded corner area, corner radius, excuse me. Uh, you have some effects in here. You can do a shadow, a bevel, a glow. Uh, you could do anchors to objects. So say if uh, if you have uh, you know a bunch of things listed at the top of a page, but you know like a Q and A, and they click on the question and it zooms all the way down to the page. The to the anchor will you know bring it to the answer, which could be you know all the way down the rest of the page. So um, that'll be another tutorial I'll do. Browser fill, um, like if you're looking at this right now, you're realizing there's not much to this program. And at first, I kind of looked at it. I was like, you know, this, what is this program? This, you know, I, I was expecting hundreds of tools, but it's much more simpler than that. Uh, over here on the right, you're going to see certain things as to swatches, fill, uh, text, transform, align, uh, assets, which are going to be your linked images, um, character styles, which is awesome in this because, you know, you can define your headers and uh, your paragraph styles and your subheads, all that stuff. Um, your wraps, your text wraps are in here. Uh, we come down here. This is your widgets library. This is where you're going to find stuff like forms. But now, just so you know, you can build forms in here, but you'd have to use another program called Adobe Business Catalyst to actually utilize the forms. And to be very honest with you, Business Catalyst is very confusing at the moment. And there's a number of things that are looking to change on it. It's it's way over my head. It's uh, there's uh, there's so many things involved with Business Catalyst. It's like another program basically that you upload your site to and then make further changes. But uh, it's it's very complicated and uh, I don't think they really have it up to par where they where it should be right now. So um, try using forms from like a Jot form or uh, you know another form uh, builder on the internet. Um, menus are your are your navigation bars. Uh, panels you have in here which are pretty cool they open and close and slideshows you know light boxes or just any kind of photo gallery um, spacing that that'll some of the most of these options your states just like this this is when you ha when you're actually clicked on a, in a piece then you'll see everything kind of all the options appear in here and graphic style so this is your main area um, this is the design area and then the, the next area is the preview area now I'm just going to pull a little box on the screen, uh, I'm going to fill it with red, and we're going to go to the preview area, and that's basically showing us a preview of our site. Now the one thing I just want to let you know as you're getting started in Adobe Muse, don't get discouraged if you're building a website and you hit the preview button and all of a sudden your, your site looks screwed up in some way. That's because this is in, it's in like an inherent type of a program. It's it's. It's not a true web browser, and this is how Adobe Muse is actually, for whatever reason, it's uh, it's showing how your elements are going to show up. So what I would highly suggest is when you're really ready to look at what your your uh, site looks like before even uh, uploading it to a host, uh, come over here to File and Preview Page in a Browser, or Preview the Site in the Browser, and then you're going to get a more uh, better idea of you know I'm in Firefox right now. That's my default browser. What it's going to look like in Firefox. So let me go back here, see if there's anything else I miss. Um, the only other thing is the the publish area. And the publish area, what that's going to do is it's going to come up with that whole Adobe Business Catalyst. And trust me, I'm not, well, I guess I am putting Adobe Business Catalyst down because I spent a few days uh, really trying to, to, to get it down and iron it out and understand it and it's just very complex for no apparent reason at all so um, I would suggest uh, uploading your files to your own host for right now and uh, using forms somewhere else 
But uh, that's for a topic later on. That's a basic getting started. Like I said, we're not we didn't build a site in here, but just to show you through the tools and the basics of this of this program, which is uh, it's a really neat program. So at first you're gonna think, what the heck is this program? There's no tools. I have to figure this out. It looks like almost cheesy. But the, the types of sites that I've been producing personally and the sites that I have seen on the internet done by Adobe Muse, you can't get better than them. I mean, it's 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 really cool. So I'm Steve from graphicdesignertips.com. Thanks for joining us and, and listening to my ramble. And uh, leave your comments and su subscribe to our page. We'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts are. And uh, that's it, everybody. Have a great night.